The Delphi Opera House held a special event this evening uh, for the over 100 people in attendance. News 18's Ani Kasparian takes us there to show us which two special local residents paid a visit back to their hometown. A native of Delphi by the name of Bill Fraser was my teacher and my freshman year in high school at Jeff High School in Lafayette. And Bill Fraser taught me everything about broadcasting and he was a tremendous influence. That's Brian Lamb. You may know him as the chairperson of C-SPAN, but did you know he had roots here in Delphi? On the evening of March 5th, the Delphi Opera House and the Delphi Preservation Society honored both Lamb and Abby Van Sickle with a community-wide dinner and discussion moderated by News 18's Jeff Smith. Van Sickle is a Pulitzer Prize winning journalist native to the area as well. I think that growing up here, I grew up in a really small town and learned to talk with and get along with everybody. And I think that's a skill that's been super helpful as a journalist. This event is part of the In the Limelight Legacy series dinners at the Delphi Opera House. Both honorees have deep connections to Delphi. Brian Lamb's Delphi roots go back to his grandfather, Peter Lamb, whose signature can be seen on the back wall of the Opera House as a member of the Delphi Dramatic Club. Lamb grew up in Lafayette and graduated from Purdue in communication, where he was honored with the naming of the Brian Lamb School of Communication in 2011. Van Sickle graduated from Delphi High School in 2000. She served as an intern at the Journal and Courier and now is a California-based staff writer for the Marshall Project. The panelists spoke about the future of media and their paths to where they are today. The audience was able to engage with the speakers by asking questions at the end of the discussion, which left many feeling inspired. Reporting in Delphi, Ani Kasparian, News 18. And the honorees mingled with the audience during the dinner before the presentation.